Google Ads versus YouTube Ads. Which one is better in this day and age and which one should you be using? Well, let's talk about it because there's actually quite a bit of overlap between the two. And if you're not already familiar, um, they're both run on the same platform, which is the Google Ads platform. So whether you're running traditional search ads like these up here, or you're running ads on YouTube, all of those ads will be run through Google Ads. So if you go to ads.google.com, that's where you would log in and be able to run the ads. And there's a bunch of different types of ads both on both networks. So for YouTube, you can see this display ad up here. You can see it says sponsored. And YouTube's been rolling out more of these lately. You can see there's another one down here. Um, there may even be more as we come down. There's another one here. Uh, so these are more like display ads, if you will, but they're intended to look kind of like a video. So if you, you know, have a video that you want to get some, some traffic to, or excuse me, um, if you want to have it show up, like, you know, you have this video and you want to get traffic there, you can do that. Most people, when they think of YouTube ads, though, they think of the in-roll video ads, which is when you're watching a video and it stops and plays an ad for five seconds before you're able to skip and go to the, the actual video that you're watching, right? And depending on what you're looking to achieve, the different types of ads are going to benefit you in different ways. So in this example, we're talking about the keto diet. And if you're wanting to, let's say you have a program where you help people get established with the keto diet and lose a bunch of weight. You know, it's like a weight loss course program thing. So when somebody does a search for the keto diet, you could show some ads here or like how to lose weight with the keto diet. You could show your ads up here. The thing is, these are going to be some of the more expensive um, ads to run, meaning the traffic that you get from these ads is going to be charged at a premium rate. And the reason is because there's a lot of intent behind these ads. So if somebody does a search for like, keto diet plan to lose weight and they see an ad up here that talks about your specific keto diet plan to lose weight then there's a really high chance that they're going to want to work with you whereas with something like youtube especially if you're doing the in in feed you know the the ad that shows up in the middle of a video and you're actually running a video ad that is going to be more like social media marketing. You're going to have to show that ad to a lot of people and hopefully you get in front of a couple of people who are looking for what you offer at exactly that time. So traditionally, YouTube ads are going to get you a lot more impressions and views and stuff, but uh, uh, typically a lower click-through rate. So you're going to get a lot of people that will watch your video and a small portion of people that will see the video ad and say, yeah, this, this is something I'm interested in, click through and actually reach out, right? Whereas with something like a traditional search ad, it's going to be pretty, I mean, so long as you have it set up properly, if it's congruent and your ad is relevant to what people are searching for, then you're going to get pretty good performance, you know, high click through rate, uh, quality traffic, people are looking for what you offer, that type of thing. And of course, there are other types of ads that you can run on the Google platform. So there's like display ads, which show up on the side of websites. Um, you know, there's local ads. There's a bunch of different ads that you can run in the Google ads platform as well. But typically when people think of a Google ad, they're thinking of these search ads up here, right? And they're both beneficial, I would say. It really just depends on what you're looking to achieve. And oftentimes what you'll find is if you can get really good results with a traditional search campaign, then you can migrate that over to a YouTube campaign. And if somebody does a search for that same term and, and sees your ad on YouTube, then there's a good chance you're going to get similar results to what you see on Google. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of Google ads versus YouTube ads in this day and age, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comments section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. 
I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth so feel free to reach out you can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you